Welcome to Fantastic Vision. Please subscribe us before you watch today's video. Harbin Institute of Technology officially announced a major breakthrough, which directly put the domestic lithography machine breakthrough on the hot topic list. Before talking about the breakthrough of Harbin Institute of Technology, we have to first understand what a lithography machine is. Let's put it this way, the chip is like a super precise small world, which is densely packed with various circuits, and the lithography machine is the magic pen that draws in this small world. It can accurately engrave the designed circuit pattern on a small silicon wafer. How exaggerated is this precision? Everyone has seen hair. Generally, the diameter of a hair is about 0.05 millimeters, and the circuit lines engraved by the lithography machine can reach the nanometer level in width. One nanometer is one millionth of one millimeter. This is simply a magic operation in the microscopic world. It is precisely because the lithography machine technology is extremely difficult that the global high-end lithography machine market has been basically monopolized by ASML in the Netherlands for a long time. Their technology is really great. A photolithography machine costs hundreds of millions of dollars at any time. You can't just buy it if you have money. The United States is making all kinds of obstacles behind the scenes and restricting exports to us. Therefore, the development of domestic photolithography machines is particularly important. This is not only a technological breakthrough, but also a major event related to the security of the national science and technology industry. Harbin Institute of Technology's breakthrough this time is mainly focused on the core components and processes of photolithography technology. They have developed a new type of photolithography light source, which is more stable and efficient than traditional light sources, and can greatly improve the accuracy and speed of photolithography. It's like you used a flashlight that flickered to draw before, and now you have replaced it with a super bright and super stable searchlight, and the things you draw will definitely be clearer and more beautiful. In addition to light sources, Harbin Institute of Technology has also made new achievements in the research and development of photoresists. Photoresists are like the pigment of photolithography machines. In the past, we relied on imports in this regard, which was not only costly, but also easy to be strangled by others. The new photoresist developed by Harbin Institute of Technology has greatly improved performance and has reached or even exceeded similar international products in some key indicators. This means that we have more independent choice in photolithography materials and no longer have to look at other people's faces. In addition, Harbin Institute of Technology has also proposed a new set of optimization solutions for the overall process of photolithography. Through fine-tuning of each link, the efficiency and yield of photolithography have been greatly improved. In the past, when producing chips, 3 out of 10 times of engraving may not be qualified. Now with this solution, maybe 8 or 9 out of 10 times can be perfectly qualified, which is very attractive to chip manufacturers. These breakthroughs of Harbin Institute of Technology have undoubtedly injected a shot in the arm for the development of domestic photolithography machines. But to say that domestic photolithography machines will break through immediately, we have to analyze it calmly. From a technical perspective, although Harbin Institute of Technology has made significant progress, photolithography machines are an extremely complex system engineering involving multiple disciplines such as optics, mechanics, electronics, and materials. To achieve fully independent and controllable mass production of high-end lithography machines, we need to continue to tackle key problems in various links. Just like building a house, Harbin Institute of Technology has now laid a very solid foundation, but to build a high-rise building, it still needs to be built up brick by brick. From the industrial level, the development of lithography machines is inseparable from the coordination and cooperation of upstream and downstream industrial chains. At present, 
China still has a certain gap with the international advanced level in lithography machine parts manufacturing, equipment maintenance, technical services, etc. To form a complete and efficient domestic lithography machine industry chain, it is necessary for the government, enterprises, scientific research institutions and other parties to work together, increase investment and cultivate talents. However, we cannot ignore the positive impact of Harbin Institute of Technology's breakthrough. On the one hand, it greatly boosted the morale of domestic scientific researchers and let everyone see the hope of the development of domestic lithography machines. On the other hand, these technological achievements can be gradually applied to existing lithography equipment to improve the performance of domestic lithography machines and narrow the gap with the international advanced level. Moreover, as the technology continues to mature, the cost of domestic lithography machines will gradually decrease, which will have a profound impact on the global lithography machine market pattern. The chip war has been going on for so many years, and we are not feeling well. Now the breakthrough of Harbin Institute of Technology has made many people see the dawn of the end of the chip war. But to be honest, it is too early to really end the chip war. The technological advantages of Western countries such as the United States in the field of chips are not formed overnight. They have deep technical accumulation and a complete industrial system in various links such as chip design, manufacturing, packaging and testing. Moreover, in order to maintain their dominant position, they will definitely try their best to continue to suppress China. For example, increase restrictions on the export of chip technology, discredit China's chip industry in the international market, etc. However, we are not vegetarians. With the continuous enhancement of domestic scientific research strength, more and more scientific research, institutions, and universities, like Harbin Institute of Technology, have made breakthroughs in the field of chips. Moreover, the country attaches more and more importance to the chip industry and has introduced a series of policies to support the development of the chip industry. I believe that in the near future, China will be able to achieve independent control in the field of chips and break the foreign technology blockade. This time, the breakthrough of Harbin Institute of Technology is an important milestone in the development of domestic lithography machines, bringing China one step closer to victory in the chip war. Although there are still many difficulties and challenges ahead, as long as China maintains confidence and continues to invest in research and development, it will be able to overcome the difficulties.